CARS 24 rebranding aims to change the conversation around used cars through its new campaign. CARS 24 aims to move the conversation around selling a car from a transactional experience to a memorable one. The brand believes that every car is filled with unique memories and the last drive before selling. Your car should be a positive experience at CARS 24. The brand has also got in a fresh new logo and design language. Ola raises $300 million from Hyundai and Kia Motors homegrown ride-hailing startup Ola on Tuesday. Announced it has raised $300 million from Hyundai Motor Group's Hyundai Motor Company and Kia. Motors in their biggest combined investment to date. The three companies will build India-specific electric vehicles and infrastructure. The investment is part of Ola's ongoing Series J round of funding, which is estimated at $1 billion. Volvo's Kerki, to let users set a limit on car speed Swedish luxury automaker Volvo announced. Vehicles starting 2021 will come with a care key that lets users set speed limits on vehicles when powered on with it. This follows the automaker's recent announcement that it will limit top speed of all vehicles starting 2020 to 180 kmph. Volvo had also announced a camera monitoring system to detect drunk or distracted driving. Tesla unveils Model Y SUV, completes S3XY lineup of car names Elon Musk led Tesla has completed the S3XY lineup of its car models by unveiling Model Y SUV. Tesla has named its cars Model S, Model 3, Model X and Model Y to give an impression of sexy. Musk wanted to call Model 3 as Model E but dropped the plan after Ford threatened to sue over a similar naming scheme. Amazon veteran becomes first externally hired Ford CFO in 70 years American multinational automaker Ford has named 20-year Amazon veteran Tim Stone as its next chief financial officer. CFO, the first external hire in around 70 years. Ford's present CFO Bob Shanks will retire at the end of 2019 after having served for around 42 years. Stone had served various roles at Amazon before joining Snapper CFO in May 2018.